Hi Taurus, welcome. We're doing a mid-month reading. So for this, uh, for the mid-month, I will use a different spread and different way. The first three cards are going to be general messages. What is coming in or what do you need to know? The second set of three cards regarding your love life. The third set of three cards regarding finances and career. And one card as advice or guidance regarding this whole situation. I will also look at the oracle um akashic records cards here ask what is important what does the universe wants you to know and also the angel number cards so let's see mid-month for taurus sun moon rising venus and mars taurus sun moon rising venus and mars 10 card reading please three general three love three finances and career one as advice Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars, please. One more. The Seven of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Many dreams, many desires. You want something concrete here or an offer, but I don't know if it's questioning it what do you need to do how can you stay in the present look at all those um you know possibilities and emotions and the page of pentacles is very serious about figuring out what's real what's not real so let's see hmm this is like feels like such a dangerous move but full of passion chemistry you want some actions here there's the queen of pentacles surrounding by abundance sensuality here all right let's see <laughs> hierophant we're starting with your card right the hierophant wow taurus the hierophant and the judgment this feels really um not only like a wake-up call, but like something from the divine here. I don't know if you've been praying. Um, you finally want to have the answer. Again, this is overall energy. We'll see how this develops. But this is powerful. And the Knight of Cups. The last reading that I did for you guys, the Knight of Cups came as uh, the immediate future. That was for June um, 17 through the 23rd. Now, it, it might be a contact here. Um, I'll give a few kind of messages because i feel like overall it is about or a wake-up call or finally you feel like the person that you have been praying or wanting here is coming in we'll see how you know your love life and your finances coming in but i'm getting like it feels like a contact or communication or someone finally like releasing here look at the judgment it's like there's this kind of vulnerability but also like a birth it's like someone is finally free to act on emotions on feelings the hierophant is holding the key the wisdom here the key like i feel like to, to the heavens to something magical and it's coming with romantic approach someone is finding their pathway here very very powerful um message by the way it's also very powerful because we have um plutonian energy which is right now is in aquarius we have scorpio as well here in taurus it does not have to be but the oppositions i i told you guys the last time that mars is in taurus and some of you are feeling like you need to kind of um pursue something here Whatever you've been asking, you feel like you're gaining some type of wisdom, some type of knowledge that is bringing forward this romantic approach or creativity or someone is ready to follow their heart. Your life, of course, with the judgment is like completely transformation. As I mentioned, with the death and the judgment, we kind of um, are never the same. But in this situation, it's like... It's like divine moment, divine calling, an awakening. Uh, it's like I've been asking for this and now I'm, I'm finding the way. 
it's like the way towards love, the way towards creativity, to something that you have kind of um, not been able to do to access I am getting some type of access towards emotions and feelings the moon why because when it comes to your love life you see okay so why is this happening so this general message is to me or the one that got away if it is because I'm looking for love and we look at the financial situation here you need I feel like the judgment because there's been something uh, in the imagination or elusive or behind in a way with the five of cups I don't know lost love here there's still a two of cups. Look at the three of cups that are coming here, both when it comes to the five of cups. And of course, it's like we have blood here as well. So it feels like something that really has been painful for you, but has been remaining unclosed. That's how we look at the moon. There's still not enough light. Our subconscious says one thing. You maybe felt like you have to let go of something, but be, you're so focused on these three of cups and what's gone and what needs to come back that you're not looking at the two of cups and the ace of cups here maybe this is what this knight of cups finally is realizing what has been that you have been lingering for some time and you've been asking here or for some type of relief something in the subconscious um <clears throat> You're still lo looking for that, um, I feel like, celebration or these good times or this reunion. But someone feels like, I cannot go back. No, it, it should not be going back. It should be something of a renewal, of an understanding. And you have the keys. The hierophant holds the keys to the subconscious as well, guys. To the conscious and to the subconscious. What needs to be brought forward emotions are strong here for you feelings are strong here for you um it's still lingering here with the five of cups and the four of cups because i feel like are you waiting for this person finally to come through are you waiting for this moment of truth and revelation so you can take actions towards love The Eight of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Hyphen. Man, it's it's all about, I feel like, um, intuition, feelings. It's, it's greater than just the mundane thing here. Because the Eight of Swords, you feel when it comes to financial situation, when it comes to career, there's a lot going on. I don't know if you feel stuck because of what you need to build. Your intuition is telling you something else. And again, right now I'm focusing on... Um, finances even with the swords we have water here by the way and the high priestess it is piscean it is the subconscious is the intuition it feels like you have um or a skill or a talent here or a knowledge that once you access is going to bring you forward whatever you have dreamed or wanted here and it does not impact just your love life guys it impacts also your purpose your career your financial situation the eight of swords to me is someone that always is thinking even when, when it comes to bills when it comes to interferences what is expected there's a lot of knowledge here but someone is kind of stuck and with the water and the feelings is because your mind tells you one thing and your intuition tells you another thing but what i like that he says with the high priestess once you are understanding that, then you will have this knowledge, this epiphany, this realization that will bring some type of awareness and recovery and renewal. But um, it feels like when it comes to the mid-month, there's a lot of things going on. And look at it. It's like another interesting situation is like it's saying you cannot see with your eyes here. This is not something that you can see. This is something that you internally have to feel because the high priestess here, of course, is not blinded. Both with the eight of swords, someone is blinded. With the judgment is bringing finally whatever you feel like I can't see. I don't know a way out. 
that's the overall energy that is coming in. I feel like those three cards are kind of telling you that whatever right now that you are feeling stuck or you feeling like holding back, maybe this is not going to happen, um, regrets here, what's lost, this is never going to come towards me. It's like the high priestess is going to bring you awareness. The moment you understand that this is not something you just can uh, see or, you know, learn or even that other people with the eight of swords here hold you back you will find your pathway i really want to see what the akashic um, cards have to say for you it's internal the realization here comes from within look at the moon the moon here the moon the moon in cancer The death card, Scorpio. I, I, it's time for renewal. And a lot of the readings that you get as well, it's always about clearing the way. I believe, I believe that the reading that I did for you, June 17th through the 23rd, the hangman was there, which the hangman, again, is very spiritual as well. It's trying to realize and look at things from a, a different angle. But the death card, again, this, this is something you cannot go back. It's time for change, Taurus. It's time for renewal. It's time for recovery here as well. But again, not in the same way. The death card saying like we, once we change, once we have gone through this transformation, we cannot go back. But you will not want to go back because it's telling you the overall message is um, that once you have these revelations or this, uh, I feel like, renewal, then you are going to be on the pathway to love, to creativity. But your advice here which is also Scorpio, but after I feel like what you have to go through so you can um, enjoy here, I feel like the I feel like the heaven, the magical moment here that is coming in, the, the revelation, uh, the knowledge, the wisdom, the devotion, the commitment, the vows, the promises, once you go through this ending and transformation, once you are able to not block yourself when it comes to um, interferences, current situations, like I said, I can see bills, I can see like overthinking here, self-sabotaging. It's like my mind says another thing. I don't understand what am I supposed to see. And the high priestess is like, you know, you're just not listening. So, yeah. Time for transformation, time for things to change. Okay, let's see here. With the death card and the judgment here and the hierophant. I do believe because the Knight of Cups came here um, as immediate future, you're going to be able to, to see with your heart stand up instead of with your mind. But uh, what is here? To guide and help Taurus. One more. Wow. Caught in the ruins. I'm going to get another one here. Number 16. There's a tower moment, by the way, I believe. One more. Wow. Caught in the ruins. Oh, my God, you guys. You keep getting this card. I feel like Gemini got it in the bonus reading. But you guys... That's why clearing the way as well. Four of keys, clearing the way. This, by the way, this caught in the ruin. Look at it. In a way, someone is afraid because of what's built behind. It's very interesting, but I believe like has kind of the meaning of the tower. Um, so with this one, it says, this card shows a dark or difficult situation that seems to have you trapped. Oh my goodness. I told you, it feels like the same way as this energy here. It could be a hurtful, empty relationship, an unhappy or feel like stole, stultifying. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm sorry if I'm not. Stultifying job, a behavioral or actual addiction or even a negative sabotaging belief system. With the heart and again, I feel like you'll gain your um, wisdom here. It has held you captive for some time and may have even begun in a past life wow so 
there's something from the past not all, all of you has to do with the past life but again look at it it's like what is the past and what is currently right now that keeping you in this unsatisfied situation you're looking for something more um but there is a way out as there always has been it just takes some effort and determination on your part to me is with a high priestess your intuition your subconscious here even if these limiting situations and actions are strong they are self-imposed the courage and strength required to change lie within you how interesting right you must change each faulty belief and every sabotaging choice as they happen if you do nothing you will perpetuate your attachment to this dark situation like the crumbling castle negative choices could stand for a long time to come don't let the ruins of your past ruin your future you have the power to climb out now and that's why again in here i've had this a few times now <clears throat> With the clearing the way, it's telling you that there's an obstacle. I'm also getting kind of the, the chariot here. But in this case, it's telling you, you cannot like be, you know, too forceful, but also not too too gentle. It's just finding the, the appropriate uh, situation here. And it's like you're going home. This is like going towards this destination. But you have just to overcome something that traps you. It can be relationship. It can be situations it can be jobs it can be again something that you feel like no i can't because of this or i need to wait i feel like you're going to find the answer here that again is very strong tied to your um career and fin finances and for some of you maybe because of your current financial situation you feel like i cannot go towards this person or whoever you know these goals that you have so let's see from the angel numbers here drama alert take a few deep breaths and focus inward you need time to think things over and consider your options at this time you must rely solely on yourself you might not believe it but you're heading in the right direction what appears to be a lull in activity is just a natural part of the process two more please one more and this okay it's up to you. It's time to put those long cherished ideas into action. You will soon come into contact with the appropriate individuals, circumstances and resources. Eventually you will experience joy as well as brand new opportunities. Trust in the process. Wish come true. You're in for a lucky break. I do believe again the universe has your back with that and this is a big break with the judgment. It may come as happy news, experience, new opportunities or an exciting acquaintance. You will find yourself in the right place at the right time. It is not a coincidence but a gift from fate. It is uh, a gift from fate as well as there. I really hope this does resonate with you Taurus. Thank you so much guys. Bye-bye.